fun. So today I am going to start with a very very beautiful the easy boy daffodils. Daffodils, yellow bell shaped flowers. The beauty of nature. The poem written by William Wordsworth. William Wordsworth is a nature poet. His poetry is based on his experience, real life experiences about the common people. So this is a poem also based on the nature. William Wordsworth is having a one principle that he recollects the emotions in the tranquility. Whatever he experiences later on, he writes his poetry based on that experience. So let's proceed and proceed and start. I wander lonely as a cloud that floats on high over waves and hills. When all at once I saw a cloud, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. I wonder who is I in this point? Oh, in him, was wonder that is moved about. So, in the very first line, the poet is saying that I was wandering alone like a cloud. In the very first line, there is a literary device singing. The poet is comparing himself to a cloud that floats on high or various and hills. Floats means flowers. All means all. Bears means the old English wells. So the poet is saying that I was alone like a cloud and flies over the fields and the hills. When all at once, miss, suddenly, I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Means the poet suddenly is attracted by the beautiful scenario of the daffodils. Where did the poet see them? Beside the lake, under the tree. Near the lake, under the trees, fluttering and dancing in the leaves. Fluttering is moving light. So the poet has seen them fluttering and dancing in the breeze. In the very first sentence, the poet is saying that he is highly impressed by the beauty of the daffodils. Clear? So now it's the time to recapitulate whatever we have read in the first. Yes. Who is I in this poem? The very first line, the I word is used. Who is? The poet William Wordsworth is the narrator. Okay. Which literary device is used in the line? I wandered lonely as a cloud. Simile is used in this line. We are in the poet. See the beauty. Beside the lake, beneath the tree, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Next. Who was wandering like a cloud? The poet William Wordsworth was wandering like a cloud. But before that, now the time for the poetry recitation. And that activity is done by one of the wonderful students of my class. Hi. Today's poem is Daffodils, written by William Wordsworth. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high over walls and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze, continues as the stars that shine and twinkle on the Milky Way. They stretch in a never-ending line along the margin of the bay. Ten thousand saw I at a glance, tossing their heads in sprightly dance. The waves beside them danced, but they outdid the sparkling waves and glee. A poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company. I gazed and gazed, but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought. For oft, when on my couch I lie, 
in waking or in a pensive mood. They flash upon the inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. Thank you.